Good evening. Welcome uh, to the Monday Night Chan. I'm lecturing today because um, Gilbert is uh, just getting back from a retreat. So let's join palms and bow. The four great vows. I vow to deliver innumerable sentient beings. I vow to cut off endless fixations. I vow to master limitless approaches to Dharma. I vow to attain supreme Buddhahood. So today we are going to um, explore the teachings of the early Chan masters and we're going to go into Huenang, just a, a few little vignettes uh, from Huenang. Uh, but the, 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 uh, today's lecture is mostly going to be meditation. So it's going to be um, Huenang inspired meditation. So um, let's get going. Um, so, uh, you know, it's to begin with, uh, we are going to start off with that story where, uh, you know, Huenang, you know, he's been in the monastery for a while. You know, he is helping out in the kitchen. What, in, and Huenang is illiterate. And uh, he's, you know, he, he, was, um, he was really attracted to Hongren, the, the fifth patriarch's uh, teachings. Um, and uh, he felt an affinity, so he went to, went to the monastery and then he was uh, delegated to the kitchen. So that's where he, he'd been. And uh, during this time, what happens is that uh, Hongren, the, um, the fifth patriarch, um, you know, he challenges his students to uh, show their understanding of the Dharma and to compo compose a poem. And um, nobody feels like they want to, they want to do this. And um, then it, it, fa it falls into um, Shen Shu, who, is, um, who was the, uh, the leading student of, of, uh, of uh, Hongren's. To, to write a poem. And he writes a poem, and this is the poem he writes. Um, and he actually puts it on the wall. He feels um, so unsure, so shy that he doesn't want to claim it. So he just puts it on the wall. So um, um, the poem goes like this. The poem goes, um, this is uh, Red Pine's translation. Our body is a Bodhi tree. The mind is like a propped up mirror. Other translation, it's like a, a mirror on a stand. Always keep it polished. Don't let it gather dust. Our body is a Bodhi tree. The mind is like a propped up mirror. Always keep it polished. Don't let it gather dust. So this is what Chen Shu writes. And um, when uh, the fifth patriarch, um, Hongren, when he looks at it, then he says, well, this is pretty good. And uh, he says, if, if, if anyone practices with this, then, um, you know, their practice will, you know, will, will progress and they'll see their nature um, and they will not descend into the lower birds, uh, birds in the hell realm, animal realm or the ghost realm. So he says that. And so what happens is that, um, you know, uh, you know, all of the students start to recite this poem. And um, Huenang happens to hear a student um, reciting this. And then he's like, hey, what, what, what's going on? What are you reciting? And uh, when he hears it, he says, show me where this is uh, written so that I can pay respects to it. And so he goes there, bows listens to the listens to the um, poem again and then he writes his own poem so before we get into that poem that um, Huenang writes let's actually uh, practice a little bit with what Shen Xu wrote because there is uh, there's quite a lot of value in what what he wrote as well um, even though Huenang one ups him there's uh, there's this value in what uh, Shen Xu wrote. So Shen Xu, he starts off with saying that our body is a Bodhi tree. So um, what he means by this is that our body is uh, the seat of awakening. And if you remember from last week's lecture, you know, I, uh, you know, I said how the, bod the body is the Bodhi Manda. 
it's the it's it's what supports awakening so and i also said that i'm not going to go into a, a meditative exploration of this but today we'll start with that we'll start with a, a body body awareness meditation um taking our body as the bodhi tree and and note that here Shinshu is saying that the mind should be kept polished but the body is already the bodhi tree it's already the location of awakening and um so what we are going to do is we are going to um we are going to meditate with the body just as it is the body just as it is and uh, no need to make it any better not even relax it so let's let's uh, let's uh, start this by settling in to your posture and uh, let us begin by simply noting the body, the whole body, just as it is. Uh, maybe uniform in sensation, maybe not so uniform. May feel pleasant, unpleasant, neutral, or some combination of all of these. All of this is okay. And it may appear clearly or murkily. The body, just as it is. Just as it feels and just as it appears. Now, attending to the crown of the head, attending the act of attending with attention, attending the crown of the head just as it is. Pleasant, unpleasant, neutral, appearing clearly or murkily. The forehead. The left temple and the left side of the head. The right temple and the right side of the head, the back of the head. The left eye, just as it is, just as it feels, pleasant, unpleasant, neutral. And just as it appears clearly or not so clearly. The right eye. Pleasant, unpleasant or neutral. What, it, what, does it, what is it like? Appearing clearly, vividly or not so. The right eye. Now both eyes together. The right side of the face and the left side of the face. The nose, upper lip, lower lip and chin. The whole face. appearing uniformly 
or not. The sensations, pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. Now the whole head, crown, side of the head, on either side, back of the head and the face. The left side of the neck and the right side of the neck. The front of the neck, back of the neck, and the whole neck. Pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. Appearing clearly or not. The whole neck, just as it is, just as it feels, just as it appears. The left shoulder and the right shoulder. Both shoulders. The left elbow, the right elbow. The left wrist and the right wrist. The left palm and the right palm. Both palms at the same time. Uniform in sensation or not. Pleasant, unpleasant, neutral. Vividly appearing or murky. The hands just as they are. The back of the left hand and the back of the right hand. The left lower arm and the right lower arm. The left upper arm and the right upper arm. The whole left arm. The whole right arm. Both arms at the same time. Pleasant, unpleasant or neutral. Uniformly appearing or patchy. Clearly and vividly appearing or not. All okay. The arms just as they are. The body just as it is. The front of the upper torso, the chest. Pleasant, unpleasant, neutral, relaxed or not. The back of the upper torso, the upper back. Clearly and vividly appearing or not. The whole upper torso, chest and upper back. The mid torso, the diaphragm area in the front. And the mid back. The lower torso with the abdomen in the front. 
and the lower back, the pelvic bowl, the whole of the torso, upper torso, mid torso, and the lower torso, and the pelvic bowl. Uniform in sensation or varied. Pleasant, unpleasant, neutral, or any combination. Clearly and vividly appearing, murky or patchy. The torso just as it is. This body just as it is. The left hip. The right hip. The left knee and the right knee. The left ankle and the right ankle. The bottom of the left foot. The bottom of the right foot. And both at the same time, the soles of both feet. The sensations. Gonna form or not. Pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. Vivid, clear, or not. The top of the left foot and the top of the right foot. The left lower leg and the right lower leg. The left thigh and the right thigh. Now the whole of the left leg. And the whole of the right leg. Both legs at the same time. Clearly appearing or not. Uniform in sensation or not. Pleasant, unpleasant or neutral. The whole lower body, including the pelvic bowl and the legs, and the whole upper body, the torso, arms, neck, head, Now the whole body. The whole body. Uniform in sensation or not. Pleasant, unpleasant, neutral. Or any combination of these. Clearly and vividly appearing, or murky, this body just as it is. Just this body is the Bodhi Manda.
justice body, the Buddha body, justice body, the Bodhi tree. Nobody but this, just as it is. With that, we are ready to go into the next few lines of uh, Shen Xu's poem. So he began this poem saying that our body is a Bodhi tree and uh, kind of connects with what we talked about last week about the body being the Bodhi Manda, just this, just this mind is the Buddha, Buddha, and just this body is the location of awakening. And then he goes on and he says, the mind is like a propped up mirror. And, and here he's talking about uh, um, there, you know, you could have like a little handheld mirror, but no, this is a mirror on a stand. It's a big mirror. The mind is like a big mirror. Always keep it polished. Don't let it gather dust. That's what he says. Always keep it polished. Don't let it gather dust. So, um, so it, this brings to mind the way we mm, normally do silent illumination. So the, the instructions for silent illumination is, um, you know, just if, if, if you're starting from body awareness, you could have started from body awareness, but let's say you're starting from um, an awareness of the, the environment. So then you sit and, uh, you're clearly aware of the environment and you maintain this clear awareness. And if something comes up, a thought comes up, you let it come up in the periphery and you let it go. You don't let it, you don't, you don't, you don't glom onto it. You don't attach to the thought that comes up. So the, 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 you know, what, what you're maintaining is the clarity of mind. So this is very much like what Shen Xu is talking here. He's saying the mind is like a big bright mirror. Always keep it polished. Don't let it get like murky. Don't let it like blur out. Don't let something else take uh, center stage. Don't let it gather dust. So don't let thoughts take over. Let them, let them, let them not, let them not, you know, um, accumulate. So just keep it, keep the mind bright, keep it polished. So that's what he's saying. Isn't that like silent elimination instructions? So let's just try that for just a few minutes. So uh, let's do a, an eyes open meditation. And uh, you're clearly aware of the space around you. And your attention is evenly placed in the space around you so that not any, any one thing is taking over, not even something in, in, in the space that's around you. So your, your attention evenly spaced, sorry, evenly uh, placed in the space around you. And um, just keep it, keep it this way. Keep the attention clear and vivid.
clear and vivid. And don't let um, anything come in and take away the clarity. So if if mind were instead of a mirror, instead of a mirror, if it were it, if it were a screen with the highest resolution, don't let any pixel pixel blur out. And and, and keep keep it fresh. Don't assume that the appearance from a moment ago is still the appearance now. The mirror mind is clearly reflecting what is, what is present. And what is present is not, not the same from, from one moment to another. Don't assume that it's the same. Clear, vivid, bright. So, um, so that's what Shen Shu said. It's nothing terribly bad. You say, saying the body is the Bodhi tree, and the mind is like a big bright mirror. And just keep it polished all the time. Don't let it gather dust. That's what he said. So, um, so Huinang, what Huinang comes up with is, uh, one step up. But before that, wasn't it a little hard to keep it polished all the time? Yes, it was, wasn't it? So, um, so Huenang comes up and says, hey, um, and, and, and remember that he's illiterate, so he has to ask the, the somebody else to write this out for him. So he, that's what he does. He asks somebody else to write it out for him. And again, this again is anonymous. The, the first, when Shen Shu wrote, um, you know, once Hongren appreciated it, then Shen Shu said, yes, uh, it was me who wrote it. And, um, and then, and then, and then Hongren actually appreciates him, appreciates him even in private. But he says, you have some more work to do. That's, that's what, that's what Hongren says. And, and, you know, go ahead and practice more and and see if you can come up with something better. So that's what Hongren had told him in private. So now Huenang writes this, this poem, and uh, this is the poem that he puts, uh, he asks somebody to uh, put up on the wall. Bodhi is in some kind of tree. This mirror doesn't have a stand. Our Buddha nature is forever clear. Where do you get this dust? So this is Red Pine's uh, translation, which is a little bit more natural um, than the more formal poetic ones. So I'm going to read it again. Bodhi isn't some kind of tree. This mirror doesn't have a stand. Our Buddha nature is forever clear. Where do you get this dust? So Huinang says, you know, hey, Bodhi awakening isn't is a tree. How can awakening be something that's supporting something else? So, 
and the mirror doesn't have a stand mind is not dependent on anything so the mirror doesn't have a stand um the first couple of verses of dhammapada says that mind is what everything is dependent on um so mirror the mirror doesn't have a stand the the, the mirror mind itself is not um, supported by anything else and it says our, our buddha nature is forever clear it's already there where did where do you get this dust what what can contaminate uh, buddha nature so is isn't the dust also mind is there a dust ap apart from mind how can that be so that's what huenang is saying so uh, before we explore this in a meditation what happens then is that um Hongren, you know comes upon this new new verse and he he says publicly what he says is oh this one doesn't get it either so um you know so he's like uh this is also not quite quite there however he visits huenang um, privately in the kitchen and he doesn't even talk to huenang there he just you know just asks him about you know is the rice done and uh huenang says hey, well it's been done for a long time and they've got they have this coded coded conversation and um and then he bangs his staff three times signaling to huenang that you know come and see me in the third watch of the night which is like around midnight and uh, so huenang does you know, thank goodness he got that message right so <laughs> so so huenang um goes to the the master Hongren in the third watch of the night and Hongren puts his um you know his precept sash which is like a say say like a blanket he puts a blanket on on top of like both of them so that nobody can see them actually talking and he teaches the diamond sutra to him i'm going to assume that is the essence of the diamond sutra and there's this one line in particular that Huenang recalls that was so impactful. So this one line is, one should produce a thought that is nowhere supported. So produce a thought that is nowhere supported. I'm going to read a little bit more, but it's a, this is a beautiful line. We'll come back to it. So then once he heard the, that those, those, those words, um, you know, Huenang experienced great enlightenment and um, he said to the patriarch, how unexpected the self nature is originally pure in itself. And he says, how unexpected the self nature is originally neither produced nor destroyed. How unexpected the self nature is originally complete in itself how unexpected the self nature is originally without movement how unexpected the self nature can produce the ten thousand dharmas so that's what he says so um so there's there's you know, th th this, this sentence has such an impact on him, but it is actually no different from what he said. You know, he said that, he already said that um, the mirror doesn't have a stand. And that's exactly what this, this line is also talking about, that uh, produce a thought that is nowhere supported. So, um, but but there was a, was a, there was a deeper deeper understanding a bigger a bigger breakthrough and um i i i, I want us to take this line on 
one should produce a thought that is nowhere supported. This, this is uh, that one, you know, that, trans, that particular uh, translation is from Master Xuan Hua. Um, uh, Red Pine translates it a little differently. He says, um, you should give rise to a thought without being attached to anything. Which is, I feel like that really waters things down. Um, Master Xuan Hua's uh, translation is powerful. So what I'm going to um, um, suggest is that we take that on as a as a huato. If 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 Hongren were to come before you and say, produce a thought that is nowhere supported, what you're gonna say? What you're gonna do? Yeah, produce a thought that's nowhere supported. I dare you, go ahead, do it right now. Produce a thought that's nowhere supported. Let's try, let's try just, just meditating, not meditating on it. Meditating with it. Produce a thought that is nowhere supported. If anything comes up that is supported, that's not it. Produce a thought that is nowhere supported. Now, produce a thought that is nowhere supported. Nowhere supported. So this is one of those, I'm sure you would have seen like illustrations of uh, Chan stories where the teacher says something to a young monk and the monk's eyes pop out and they're like, huh? It's one of those things, produce a thought that's nowhere supported. So what was that like? So maybe we'll, we'll take a few more minutes to, to talk about to talk about what we just did so far. And uh, then we'll go on to another, another little vignette from Huenang. What happened when you tried to produce a thought that's nowhere supported? Jake, thank you for being brave. Oh, I'm sorry. Cool. Yeah. Yes. 
I, I thought it was a little bit humbling because um, I guess the more I tried to do it, the, you know, not that I expected to be able to produce the thought that is nowhere supported, but, um, you know, it kind of makes you step back and think through even moments when you think you're being creative or something like a lot of what you comes to your mind is uh, conditioned in a lot of ways. So I, I thought that kind of made me feel like small and probably a productive way. Okay, okay. The 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 thing the right view that can maybe set the stage for that is that um it's always there. It's pointing it, it's pointing to what's always there. But 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 not easy to f to find, indeed. Sam. Um. The more I thought of, I mean, the more the fatal was being generated. I started to look more into what it would mean for a thought to be supported. Like, what is it being supported upon to begin with? Or what are our thoughts supported upon to begin with? And it's like, it, it almost becomes a little bit unspeakable, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like with, with this, the more you just really draw the awareness to that thought, it, I'm probably way off a of mark here, but it feels like holding a mirror. And this mirror, it's like a mirror of awareness. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And the more I started to try and just look upon it, I, I started having questions like, to, instead of, not just instead of, but produce, there's producing a thought that is nowhere supported. But where where is a thought that is supported? Okay. I suppose that's, that's my only, con that's my confusion, I think, coming out of it. Okay. That's a um, lot of thinking. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I know. You see how much it was? I guess the best thing that could have happened was I was aware of those of that thinking. Okay, good, good, good. I mean, I, I can see some, some, some work, but then, um, so quickly discard any thought that is supported. And and what what does it mean uh, here? The supported means is arising from causes and conditions. That would make sense. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, you know, what thought could there be that's that's not arising from causes and conditions oh okay yeah 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 okay thank you Santa. okay so so it's 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 a it's a question that points directly at mind but you know it's like a, it, it's okay to have not have known it, known that and got gone into the exploration, that's to, that's fine. But but nowhere supported. Mm. So it's like speak, speak now. What is a thought that is nowhere supported? I it, wish I had a sandal to put on my head or a zip to go after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Jan. Hey, uh, Sansa, what, what I feel is um, I can't pull anything out. Um, the, the thought, you know, I, I tried like, okay, so come, it's, it can't, you know, it, you know, uh, I'm just, yeah. So it's like that. I okay. Was, you, 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 you're, 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 that is going well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was, you know, without so support, support. Yeah. You know, I was like, just be aware the whole like condition, like means what do you ask? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Just can't pull anything out. Yes, but continue to try. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. it, 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 it's 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 a lot like a huato where where Gilbert says that. If if it's not coming up, you 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 continue to try to pull it out. It's you. Mm. Continue, it's like 
you're trying to produce a thought that's nowhere supported. It's not, not able to produce. You're still trying to produce a thought. Yeah, I think this that's one is really, supported. yeah, I think this one is really powerful because mm-hmm. you know, like a hot hole, mm-hmm. you, you kind of like a, uh, like a reset, a hot hole, then you try to like, you know, it's already a, a phrase Then you want to go back to the, the first one, the, First one, you have to chase. It's kind of like hard to, uh, to keep up. Like hard to you. You have to make a lot of effort to to mm-hmm. go beyond to go before that, right? But this mm-hmm. one is right from the beginning, right mm-hmm. from the beginning. So it's kind of like okay, the phrase already late. Then you're already in front of the phrase. So it's it's more sharp. I think it's. Yes. Yes. And, and and what's going to happen is that each of us will find different different phrases, different questions that um, that put us into that that um, you know the great doubt that is a, I would say it's, it's it's more than a doubt. It's a the great confounding. It's like huh? It's kind of yeah. like that, right? That's so. That's the that's the that's that's the that's the goal of a huato and and what question is it or what saying is it that puts you there that's going to be you know you're depending upon your uh, you know whatever does it for you so if you if you find a, a, a question that is like i can't put this question down or it's it, it's it's pointing directly at mine i can't you know mm. but so 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 keep keep practicing yeah 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 and also i want to see is um you know the question when we start to to try the question become a a perception you already know what you're looking for it's not a sentence anymore it's not mm-hmm. like a words by words anymore yes right it's become like no words mm-hmm. it's a perception so it's that's that's why it's like right in front of the anything come up right yeah i i i, I, it's wouldn't, a phrase. I, I wouldn't use the word conception it's it's perception what's perception. that perception. perception okay you know th- those words are both both those words are a little overloaded just because you know yeah i want to i want to express but, but, but i but i know what you mean it it it, it yeah you know, it, it it takes you to the looking Yes. Yes. It's got, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I just don't have a word for that. Either. Yes. Yeah, totally. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Anybody else? All right. So, and, and the, 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 the wonderful set of phrases that uh, Huenang says, you know, um, so he exclaims to the to the 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 um, to Hongren, you know how unexpected it means how wonderful the self nature is originally pure in itself. How unexpected the self nature is originally neither produced nor destroyed. How unexpected self nature is originally complete in itself. How unexpected. Self-nature is originally without movement. How unexpected. Self-nature can produce the 10,000 dharmas. So any of these verses could be a turning phrase for you. You know, what is it that is originally pure in itself? What is it that is originally neither destroyed nor produced? What is it that is originally complete in itself? What is it that is originally without movement? What is it that is originally without movement? What is it that produces the 10,000 dharmas, the 10,000 phenomena? What is it? Each of these could be turning phrases 
I invite you to, to practice with them. So that takes us to the last vignette. I really like this one. This is like further down the road um, where, you know, Huenang's now an established master and somebody comes to visit him and, and he says, hey, there's this other Chan master. Uh, his name is Wu Lun and he has a saying. And what do you think about it? And, um, you know, this is this is what Wu Lun um, Wolun's poem is, he said, the poem is, Wolun has kill. He can cut off hundreds of thoughts. When facing the outside states, his mind is not moved. The bodhi in his mind is growing day after day. So it's like, cool. <laughs> It's almost like, well, one drives a wonderful fast car of the latest model. It's almost like that. But, <laughs> but this is, this is, this is the, this is the Walloon's poem that he wrote about himself and his practice. So he says, Walloon has skill. He, he can cut off hundreds of thoughts. When facing the outside states, his mind is not moved. The bodhi in his mind is growing day after day. Wow, Wolun. So anyway, um, Huenang hears this and Huenang says, hey, um, the, this poem doesn't concern the substance of the mind. If one practices according to it, one will become attached. Now that's putting it so mildly. But, um, but then, then Huenang, uh, you know, replies with a poem. Huenang has no skill. He does not cut off hundreds of thoughts. When facing the outside states, his mind moves often. The Bodhi is just this. Go Huenang. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to read it to you again. Huenang has no skill. He does not cut off hundreds of thoughts. When facing the outside states, his mind moves often. The bodhi is justice. How do you practice with that? So uh, let's try this. Let's try this. And in, in a way, it kind of brings us back full circle to what I started off last week's lecture with. But I'll, 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 I'll make that um, that. that that comparison later. But um, what is it to not cut off the hundred thoughts? What is it to allow the mind to just move? What is this justice that is bodhi, that is awakening? Are there thoughts right now? Are they moving slowly? One year and another there? Or are they running a mile a minute? What if it were okay for the thoughts to be just as they are? Fast and furious. Like a mountain stream over steep and rocky terrain. Or slow and even 
like a river in the plains. Or like a river that meets the ocean. Where did the river go? Where does the ocean begin? The body is justice. Wenang has no skill. He does not cut off hundreds of thoughts. When facing the outside states, his mind moves often. The Bodhi is just this. And if you remember last week, we started by saying simply accord with whatever state of mind you're in. So, uh, brings us full circle. And uh, that's all I have for today. We can maybe have a bit of a discussion if anybody would like to share anything and we can be done. So much, so much good stuff from Huenang, it's hard to pick a few. Sam? Um, thank you, Santa. First, I just wanted to thank you. This was, um, this was very profound. And I feel like also, I've never meditated like that on Agatha. That was very different. And I feel like that was like, the difference between contemplating it and intellectualizing it. So yes. Thank you for showing us this. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, so what happens when a, when a, when a master, you know, when a master's teachings find its way, um, you know, to recorded words? The master is uh, describing experience. And the intent of describing experience with words is so as to evoke experience in the reader or the student. So the words, that's the purpose they serve. Um, it's very important to, to use the words in that, in that way. I mean, may I ask you just one more thing, um, just to make sure I'm understanding that Huatao correctly, because I intend to continue reciting that. It's to uh, try to produce a thought that is not uh, supported, right? That is yes. the phrasing. Mm -hmm. And by and to just to make sure I'm understanding, the not supported means try to produce a thought that did not arise from causes and conditions. Yes. So it don't try though. Produce, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> produce a thought. 
<laughs> it's a thought that is nowhere supported. It's it's like the the master is like banging with the staff and saying, "Produce it, produce it now." Mm -hmm. I just feel the feel the um, the immediacy of of what the master is asking for. Produce a thought that's nowhere supported. Don't don't, so don't 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 think too much about it. I'll try. I'll try not to. Just to rest in it. If a thought comes up that that was supported, let it go and produce a thought that is nowhere supported. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Santa. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anybody else? I think maybe um, Robert. Hey. Hi, uh, when you, when you challenge with the producer thought that is not supported, at that moment, it seems the mind try very hard to produce, but it immediately sank into producing nothing, but almost sounds like it is like a thoughtless, a thought of no thought. It's like you are at the same time thinking about nothing. I mean, it's like you're black, you're also white. It's like yes and no at the same time. Born and unborn at the same time. It, you, you, I, I sank into it. And until you try to wake us up, I don't want to get out. It's, 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 it, it just total, totally quiet. Mm -hmm. And uh, like stop, it, it's it seems to stop in a in a never never land. Mm -hmm. That it is it, it's, it's 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 a little bit a little bit difficult to get out until mm -hmm. you strike the thing. Yes. I mean, what 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 is going on? <laughs> what is going on, indeed? <laughs> well, <laughs> What is going on indeed? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's, it's, you know, that's what it's, it's like to produce. To, to it's, it's not strange, it's not weird, but, but yeah. it's very comfortable. It's not strange, it's very comfortable. Well, it's, you know, uh, move, it's move, kind move, of, move, be, move beyond the comfort a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Move beyond the comfort. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that that's that's what I'm looking for. Move beyond that. Move beyond that state. Yes. Don't atta even attach to that state. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yes. So yeah. so the, uh, red red pines. Uh, yeah. Maybe red pines uh, translation can yeah. be used here. You should give rise to a thought without being attached to anything. Yeah. Right. right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. All right. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Jake. I, thanks. I also uh, really appreciated uh, going through these exercises. And I like the first meditation on the first poem that's presented because, you know, you get this message that's like, this is okay, but not great. And then you, I feel like, you know, we, we move past that poem, but I think it's um, it was interesting to kind of like actually give it serious attention and understand um, a little bit more like what what the merits are and what the drawbacks are instead of just you know next verse and mm -hmm. uh, so I, I really thought that was a great uh, exercise for me. Thank you, thank you. All right, any anybody else? Anything? <laughs> 